Hello there world, welcome to this, my first technology, piece of technology review. Review of the uh, demonstration of the Zoom Q4 digital video camera. Now I can't show you the camera because I'm filming with it right now, but uh, you'll see pictures, I guess, either right there or right there. Somewhere I'm going to put pictures in the video and you'll see pictures of it. Now, I already tried to do this video once and I forgot a whole bunch of information, so forgive me, but I printed out everything I need to say and all the features, so I won't forget anything. Um, so right now it's uh, posted on a mini tripod that I bought for it, um, but it comes with uh, um, uh, uh, it comes with a regular tripod mount, but it also comes with the three-prong mount for the, they say, I, they call it something else, but it's, it's basically so you can use all the GoPro stuff. So any GoPro accessories you can use with, with this thing. Um, okay, let's see. Lens. It's got an f28 slash 22 millimeter 130 degree wide angle lens. And you can probably notice that you get that round edge of the world kind of effect a little bit because it's so wide angle. But, um, but at least, you know, it's made for going to concerts and, and musical stuff. So, uh, um, the wide angle helps make sure you're always going to be able to get the whole stage in or whatever. So it's got XY stereo condenser mics. You flip them up to use them, uh, but they work even if they're flipped down. They just don't grab what's in front of you as as much because the um, the, 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 the shape, the recording shape of this thing, uh, I saw another review where somebody said it had a cardioid shape, but I don't think that's correct because I've tested it a lot, and what it seems to have is a forward focused stereo shape. In other words, it, it focuses on the sound in front of it mostly, but it also gets the, the sides about, let's say, 65-ish percent. And then behind it, it'll, it'll pick up what's behind the camera as well, but at about 10 or 20 percent. So it's definitely forward focused, uh, good stereo side uh, uh, reception of sound with the back being uh, very limited. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, and when you have them flipped down, uh, they still work, but then the focus is downwards. However, that's actually a good thing if you're going to use it as a dash cam. If you can get it in your car, obviously pointing out the windshield, having the, the microphones flipped down, I found, because I tested it in my car, uh, I found it actually picked up uh, the sound in a better way than, than when the microphones were flipped up. So you can experiment with that. Uh, it's got a maximum resolution of 1080 by 1920 at 60 frames per second. Um, you can choose uh, MP3 format up to, I think, 300 and 390 or something uh, kilobits per second bit rate quality, or WAV format all the way up to 24 bit 96K. So um, I'm recording this one right now in the MP3 format, but I have it set for 320. So that's pretty good quality for MP3. Um, I play MP3 CDs in my car, which has a subwoofer, and at 320 quality, you can crank it, and there's no distortion, so I find that good enough. Um, it's got the, the screen. Well, it flips out, but, it, but you can look at the screen when filming, but it also flips completely upside down, so you can see the screen when you're in front of the camera. It also flips so you can see the screen if you had the camera underneath you. Um, you can also take the screen right off, which is kind of handy. Uh, let's see, um, yeah, when you take the screen off, it extends the battery life. So apparently with the screen off, it comes with a rechargeable battery and you'll get about almost three hours out of it. With the screen on, uh, with I've been testing it and I've been getting around about an hour-ish, uh, depending on what you're doing and fiddling and how much time you just have it off and you're adjusting stuff. but you get basically about an hour-ish of recording time with the screen on. So grabbing a spare battery might be handy if you want to do really long videos, but so far I've found that one battery is enough. But I'm going to pick up an extra one just anyways. Uh, not a bad idea. It's got uh, three lighting options, concert, night, and auto. Right now I've got it on auto. In my apartment here, I don't have a central bright light. I only have this lamp. And then there's lights way over there and way over there, so the lighting isn't really good. Uh, we're <laughs> I'm deciding to film this, but um, uh, in daylight it works really good. And I should have maybe put it on night setting and see how it works. But uh, right now it's on auto. 
Uh, I tried the, the night in the concert setting, but I can't remember. I was just fiddling it when, when I first bought it. The night setting actually works pretty good. I used that when I was driving around at night, and it worked actually pretty good. So um, you have to play, play with that. But the camera is not made to be a super duper video camera. It's made to be a super duper audio camera. So the, the condenser mics record fantastic quality sound. And I'll get to that in a second. Uh, um, and the video options are, are limited, but it's, but it's me meant to be basically a point and shoot kind of video camera. Uh, for musicians to get really good quality sound. Um, already touched on the battery, uh, touched on that. Okay, so the switches. On the side, uh, the manual controls you get is a three position mic gain, high, medium, and low. I'm recording on high right now. I'll demonstrate what medium and low sound like in a minute. Um, and that's your three gain positions. And then you can also switch it to an auto gain where you don't have to set anything, but it's like, you know, I don't know if you've used it in software and other devices, but when you set the, the input level to just auto and it normalizes everything, I don't think that works good on anything. It always comes out wishy-washy, so you're better off just finding where your peak limits are and, and using uh, a manual gain setting. That, that always gives you a better quality. I like to record hot, so everything I record when it comes to music videos or anything, I like to try to get, get it so that at my loudest, I'm, I'm peaking, um, and then hopefully my normal range is minus 12 to minus 6, right? So, um, you have a toggle gain switch, uh, I just talked about that, manual and auto. You have a low cut toggle switch, on and off low cut. That basically really is only handy for when you're outside. It, it can take away a lot of the low rumble of the wind. So, I don't do a lot of outdoor filming, so I don't know if I'll ever use that. Um, it has a volume control uh, for your headphones because you can you can plug headphones into this thing, and then you can turn the volume up and down for your headphones. LED indicator for low battery and low SD card. So the battery and the SD card lights will um, they'll go orange when you're at about half left on your battery and your SD card, and they'll go red when you've got. 20% or less on your battery or SD card, which is kind of handy if you forget. Um, oh, it's got a, this is cool, it's got a peak indicator light on the side and on the front. So if you're filming yourself doing music stuff, there's a, a, a red light right above the lens, right on the front of the camera, and um, when, it, when you hit your peaks, that light will, will flicker and flash and let you know when you're peaking. So, uh, plus the screen has level meters on it, so you, you, you've got your level meters and your peak light, so definitely made for musicians and recording sound. Fantastic for, for doing this kind of stuff. Um, and it's also got a speaker on the side, so if you don't have headphones or don't want to bother with an extra accessory, there's a little speaker on the side that you can listen to your recorded videos and stuff. On the back, it's got four inputs or ports. One's a mini USB port. That's meant for file transfer, for charging it, it charges just from a USB port on your computer or whatever. Um, but you can also use the this camera device as a webcam and as a condenser mic for your computer. If you've got software where you want to record stuff on your computer, you can use this thing and the condenser mics are fantastic. I mean, I have also a, a Blue Yeti um, stereo condenser mic and I find that this thing almost as good. Not quite, but almost. Just It's that good. Uh, it's got a mini HDMI uh, out port, so you can go right from this camera to a nice high resolution big screen TV. It's got an external mic uh, input, a 1 8 external mic input, so you can plug in your own mic if you have an even better fantastic mic you want to record with, or apparently you can plug like MIDI instruments into this. Um, not sure why you would do that maybe record an instrument plus the microphones. I guess you could do that. I should experiment with that and try that. Um, and of course it's got a headphone, one eight headphone jack. Um, the top only has two buttons. It's got a power button and a big record button which has a light on it. So it's red when you're recording and green when you're not. So, um, and that's it. Now I'll just demonstrate um, the, uh, the different gains and the zoom level and that's about it. So like I said, I'm recording on high right now, so I'll just play something quick and um, 
and you'll hear what it sounds like on high. Okay, that's high. Now I'm going to switch it to medium. Now it's on. Oops, shouldn't say anything when I was up close. Now it's on medium. It's probably a lot harder to hear me now. And uh, here it goes again. Okay, now when I switch it to low, low is meant for recording really, really loud. Um, well, hold on. Now we're on low, and I'm actually yelling because you probably wouldn't hear me if I was talking. And I'll try to play really loud. Okay, so unless you had your headphones on or your computer speakers completely cranked, you probably didn't even hear me on low. Um, so what are the different settings for? High is for most normal situations. Medium is for when, you're, when you've got a lot of noise around you, uh, maybe like a pub or an outdoor situation with maybe uh, like, a, like a festival or, or uh, you know, so fairly loud situations. The only reason you, you would ever use low is like at a super, super loud concert if you had like front row seats or something or, or pretty close, like something like Pink Floyd or something because I've tried low on a few settings and every time I put it to low I can't hear squat. So you gotta be in like a deafening situation to use low. So you're, you're gonna use high 95% of the time, medium you'll probably use in any, like I said, pub, bar, small concert, whatever, maybe even large concert setting, low, I mean, you gotta be one of these, you gotta love really, really, really loud places to use low. Okay, so the last thing I'll show you is the zoom level. It only has two zoom levels. This, which is the normal default level, which is, uh, I'm exactly five feet away from the camera. So, um, uh, I'm gonna zoom it in, and you'll see, and then you'll see the only two options. So here's zoom, and, uh, <laughs> Cat suits, that's ugly. Wow. Yeah, hope that lens is insured. Oh. Okay, so that's the the um, zoomed in level. Five feet away, it's actually not bad. So it looks a little bit more whatever. Um, and then back to the, sorry, I don't mean to hurt your eyes. Sorry. Uh, there we go, and that's regular again. So you can see the difference. The, the normal wide angle, and it's getting a lot of by the way, you might hear a fan off to the side. I have that on on purpose because I wanted to see how much this thing picked up. It's a pretty loud fan over there, much louder than one of these kind of things. It's almost like an air conditioning fan. It's one of those round blower fans. So I left that on because I wanted to see how much this camera picks up. Um, but anyways, that's, um, that's everything about the camera. If I forgot anything, leave a, a question in the comment sections below and I'll answer it uh, as soon as possible. I try to check my channel at least once or maybe twice a week. Um, and that is the Zoom Q4. If you were thinking of buying this camera but you can't go to try it or you're going to order it online but you're wondering, you know, what can I do with this camera? Uh, I hope this video helped you uh, in your search and your decision making. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, ask away. I'm happy to help. And I'm my personal opinion on this camera, I've try to do this video objectively, but obviously I like the camera because I bought it. Um, I, I actually was very patient and I wanted to buy a camera for my little YouTube hobby here, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money, And um, but I wanted it to be easy to use and get good sound quality. So I, I spent almost a year and a half, maybe a little longer, looking and looking and looking and looking and every, cam every video camera I, I, I found you know, basically the sound quality was always garbage. You always have to buy an extra 150 to 200 dollar external condenser mic, and then half the things didn't even have an input jack for it. This one not only has great stereo condenser mics, but it also has the input jack. So if you want to plug a better mic in, I think that's fantastic. 
Um, and then some of the, the few cameras I did find that the quality was good enough, they were super duper expensive. This thing is uh, retail around 375 bucks, um, but I got it on sale, believe it or not, I got it on sale on Amazon for 225. I, I couldn't, I had to do a double take when I saw that price. I mean, most places sell it for around 350, 375. I got it on sale for 225, so I, as soon as I saw that, I jumped on it. Um, but even at 375, I was prepared to pay 375 because I look at it this way. Most basic camcorders are around 300 bucks. You know, you, whether it's from uh, Sony or, uh, I can't even remember the brand, Sony, JVC, Samsung, whatever. They're all around $300-ish. Uh, Canon has, has some really nice ones too. Um, but then you think, you know, okay, you buy your typical camcorder for 300 bucks, now you gotta buy an external uh, condenser mic for the decent sound. You're looking at minimum around 100 to 150 bucks. So there's 400, 400 to 450 plus tax right there. I figured 375, that's a bargain. So, um, so the fact that I got this for 225, just unbelievable, I, I lucked out. So um, obviously I like the camera, I like it a lot, I think it's worth every penny. And uh, again, I hope this video helped, and thanks for watching, have a great day or night, and as always, God bless.